Welcome to this 15 minute cardio core crusher. Again, this is a great way to get a quick workout in a short amount of time. No equipment needed. You can do this anytime, anywhere. We're gonna go ahead and begin bringing ourselves into mountain pose, taking a deep breath in and out. And now bringing hands to heart. We're gonna start with a big movement of our squats. When we warm up our lower body, we really help to energize our entire body. So again, really root into your feet. Inhale down, exhale up. Engage your core when you come up, squeezing your glutes and your abs and stay nice and stacked as you slice your arms back. Now we're just gonna hold it for some pulses, staying nice and low. Again, feel that nice lift through your abs to support you. And then bring it up, adding in those twists now. Squat and twist, elbow to opposite knee. You're inhaling down and exhaling up. Keep that rhythm with your breath. Of course, the lower you go, the more challenging it is for your glutes. Now you're just gonna hold it, chair pose, take a deep breath, see if you can sink a little lower. And let's bring it all the way up, excellent. All right, now we're gonna go into a side lunge, into a side leg lift. Adding in the arms, and really draw your belly in here, keeping your pelvic tilt so your spine is stable and neutral as we open up the arms and squeeze our shoulder blades towards one another. And our whole body is working here, adding this balance challenge. Inhale down, exhale up. All right, we're gonna go into our oblique twist next. Again, getting that balance into your left foot and then really make sure that your upper body is twisting towards your right knee here. Drawing your hands towards your hip as your belly draws in. Good, all right, we're gonna go ahead and do that same series on the other side here. And keep your core strong and your head lifting to the sky. You're doing great. You just have a few more. Keep your core strong. Wonderful. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on to a plank series, stretching up nice and tall. Hinge at your hips. We're gonna walk it out into a strong plank, drawing your belly in, pushing away with your hands and feet, and getting a nice squeeze of your hips as you tuck your tailbone. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into our mountain climbers. We're gonna go ahead and just start slow, drawing our knees in towards our chest. Really focus on that pelvic tilt, drawing your knees in versus just thinking knees moving in. And then you can always start to double time it, just speeding it up, keeping that stability of your shoulders right over your wrists. Okay, make sure you're balanced and you're gonna hold it and we're gonna go into our plank push-ups. We wanna keep our hips as stable as possible. So if you need to open up your feet wider, do so. Modify with knees down. And this is such a great exercise, not only for your abdominals, your back and all those stabilizers, but your arms are creating a great workout. Again, you're inhaling down and exhaling up. Again, you can just alternate arms or we can do five on each side. All right, we're gonna finish this series with 10 hip dips. Just stay right on those forearms and you're just gonna dip your hips side to side, squeezing your abs and glutes. And again, once you've did 10, you're nice and centered. We're gonna release our hips down and bring it into our Sphinx pose, pressing away with our forearms. And then we're gonna bring it up and back, downward facing dog, lifting your hips to the sky. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step it forward, nice flat back, arms to the side, releasing deeper. And then we're gonna push down into our feet and then rise all the way up. Inhale and exhale. All right, this next exercise is a glute burner. We're gonna lunge back with the left leg and then bring it up. 
We're really using that right glute and right leg to do most of the work here. So you're inhaling back, exhaling up. And pushing into that right heel to drive you back up as you squeeze that right glute and slice your arms back to work your back. You can really use your abdominal scoop and tilt to keep that neutral spine as we hold it for pulses. Stay low. And really lift up your back heel so we can bend that knee down towards the ground. And then we're gonna keep that front knee bent and we're gonna bring the left leg back in and out without letting the right leg straighten out. Okay, this is where you're gonna really feel it here. Strong, stable core as we tap and bring it back. Inhale back, exhale up. Good, now let's just hold it for a stretch. Let's go ahead and bring it down to the ground, into our plate. And now we're gonna go into a push-up side plank series. I love this exercise because you get a nice, strong, full body push-up move, and then you get a great stretch in that side plank. So we're gonna inhale down and exhale into your side plank. So you've got a few different variations here. You can certainly do a full plank, keeping that core strong, neutral spine, okay? or you can add a bent knee, or what I've been working on is doing straight leg down, and then as soon as I need assistance, bringing my knees down on the way up. So you can just keep this rhythm going with your breath and have that pause where you really feel your back and abs squeeze. Most importantly, is not letting your lower back sag. Keep that scoop and tilt the whole time and those glutes fired up. All right, once you're even, we're gonna bring it down onto our forearms and we're gonna go into a leg pull, right leg only 10 times. And keep that scoop and tilt so there's no movement through your back. Nice long leg, kneecap lifted, and flexed foot. And okay, then we're gonna do the other side for 10. And then once you've did your 10, we're gonna go ahead and bring the hips down back into your sphinx pose. Breathe in, breathe out, roll it up into up dog, inhale and exhale into downward facing dog. And now it's going to bring it forward. Release back into your forward fold and we're gonna rise up, pushing down into your feet, deep breath in and exhale to center. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So we're gonna start with the right leg back this time, inhaling back, exhale up. Now let's go ahead and hold again for pulses and reach your arms overhead to keep your back engaged in that nice long spine. And scoop and tuck, scoop and tuck. Now bring it in, keeping that left leg bent. Let's give a light tap forward so we're barely putting any weight on that right foot. That left glute is doing most of all the work and your abdominals. And again, let's give it a stretch, warrior one, and release. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and transition down onto the ground. And we're just gonna sit up tall, going into reverse tabletops. And you can have your fingers facing your feet or out to the side, whatever's the most comfortable. But this is such a great move, not only for your glutes and your back, but such a wonderful stretch for tight hips and shoulders. And just make sure when you come up, you keep neutral spines, so that little tuck through your chin, so we're not letting the weight of the head fall back. Okay, now we're just gonna add on a one leg bridge tabletop. You can make it a little more challenging by lengthening your leg out. Really try to keep that press into your arms so that we don't sag through those shoulders. Let's switch to the other side. And our magic number is 10 today. We're doing 10 reps of each exercise. And now let's balance our feet, pushing down. Give yourself a nice stretch. Breathe in and breathe out to release. And now bringing our feet and knees together, we're going to go into some roll-ups, tracking all the way down one vertebra at a time, and then bringing it up. And we're 
inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale overhead and then exhale up. Just use the power of your breath during the hardest parts of your lift and to control it on the way down. And really draw in your abdominals here and squeeze your glutes. And you can make this more challenging by lifting your legs up and just take your time to control it. Oh, these are challenging. Really want to feel that press into your sits bones when you get up and try to straighten out your spine and then roll it down. Okay, now we're just going to hold it, balance, and going into our twists. Again, you can have your feet down or your feet up to make it more challenging. Again, try to keep your spine as long as you can with the push away from your seat and really twist your upper body here. Pushing your hands together. And then let's go ahead and find our center and release it all the way down. All right, now let's go ahead and bring our hands back behind our head. And we're just gonna go into some simple ab curls. You're inhaling down and exhaling up. And really use your abdominal scoop and the pelvic tilt to lift up. Again, you can make this more intense by lifting your legs up at a 90 degree angle. Okay, now after you did 10, we're just gonna hold it at the top and do little pulses. Keep your belly drawn in. Your head is pushing into your hands so there's no strain in the neck. And now we're gonna extend our legs out and we're gonna go into some crisscross legs. Just keep your upper body stable. Really extend your legs, lift your kneecaps, point your toes, lower those legs wherever you feel challenged and then hold it. Reach, reach, reach and release. All right, now we're gonna move on to our oblique crunches. So just bringing the feet back down, hands behind the head. We're gonna alternate side to side 10 times. And try to keep your elbows open and lift up as high as you can. Okay. Once you've did 10 on each side, we're gonna go ahead and hold it on one side, 10 crunches. And keep trying to lift that shoulder a little higher each time, firing up that side oblique and then switch to the other side. See if you can bring that outer elbow down and keep the opposite elbow open. And then bring it back to center, hold, extend your legs, reach. Inhale and exhale to release. Okay, this next exercise is wonderful because it's a great abdominal move, but it feels so good to stretch the back and shoulders as well. Our oblique twist, you're gonna bring your legs together, inhale to one side and exhale back to center. And we wanna keep our shoulders down and our legs together using that internal deep scoop and tilt and the squeeze of our legs together to bring our legs back to center. You can look towards your opposite arm to help create balance a great stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. And then once you've did 10, you're gonna hug your knees in. And then let's go ahead and bring our feet back down, arms to our side, going into bridges. We're gonna inhale down, exhale up. Gonna be pushing into your parallel feet and into your arms to help you lift and fire up those glutes. And get that strong scoop and tilt at the top with that extra little pause. And then once you've did 10, we're gonna go ahead and hold it. Take a deep breath. Gonna bring that right knee in, stretch your right leg up to the sky. See how close you can bring your leg. Flex your foot, inhale, bend, exhale down. Let's go ahead and do the same thing, other side. Hold that left leg up, flex and point and release it down. Breathe in, lift your heels, and then roll it down one vertebra at a time. Ah, oh, let's bring these to chest, rock it up. You are all done. We're gonna go ahead and bring ourselves forward. A will squat, forward fold, and then let's roll it all the way up from that push down of your feet. Grounded and strong. Bring it back into mountain, taking a breath in and breathe out, hands to heart. Keep shining. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm so happy you decided to join me today to move your body to be more strong, centered, and connected. See you back here on the mat again. Aloha.